What are the legal implications of marrying a second cousin? Hello and welcome. Today we'll be diving into a unique topic, the legal implications of marrying a second cousin. Now, this may sound somewhat unconventional to some, but it's important to note that different cultures and societies have diverse traditions and laws when it comes to marriage. In this discussion, we'll highlight the legal aspects of this particular type of union. Is it legal to marry your second cousin? The first thing to establish is that, in many jurisdictions around the world, it is indeed legal to marry your second cousin. While this might be surprising to some, it's a testament to the wide range of cultural norms that exist. However, it's important to note that legality varies by location. Some places have more stringent restrictions on cousin marriages, while others have none at all. Why does legality vary? The legality of marrying your second cousin can vary based on a multitude of factors, including historical norms, societal views, and perceived risks. For instance, some cultures have long-standing traditions of cousin marriages to maintain property within the family or strengthen family ties. On the other hand, other societies frown upon these marriages due to social, ethical, or perceived genetic concerns. Are there legal consequences? Given the varying legality, are there legal consequences to consider? Well, the consequences can also vary greatly. In places where second cousin marriages are allowed, there may be no legal implications at all. However, in locations where such unions are prohibited, penalties can range from fines to prison sentences, although enforcement of these laws also differ significantly from place to place. What about the legal benefits? Like any other marriage, a legal union between second cousins will typically come with the standard legal benefits associated with marriage. This includes things like joint property rights, spousal benefits, and the right to make decisions for each other in the event of illness or disability. Again, this can vary by jurisdiction, so it's always best to consult with a local legal expert when considering these implications. In conclusion, the legal implications of marrying your second cousin can vary significantly depending on where you are in the world. It's a complex issue with many societal, cultural, and legal nuances. As always, when dealing with legal matters, it's best to consult with a legal professional to understand the specific laws and consequences in your jurisdiction. We hope this video has given you a clearer picture of this interesting topic. Thank you for watching.